everybody. I really hope you enjoyed our story about the green shamrocks. I thought that we could make some fun St. Patrick's Day related crafts go along with our story today. And I thought the first thing we could make would be a cute little leprechaun. And he's easy to do and fun to make. All you need is some paint and believe it or not, a fork. A fork is what makes his beard and his hair. So he's pretty easy to make. And we could also make a rainbow chain with a pot of gold at the bottom of it because that is what um, all the leprechauns are busy hiding. And um, we could also make a fun green shamrock. If you'd like, you can come on down to the library. We've got some STEM activities that involve more St. Patrick's Day fun um, for this week of celebrating at St. Patrick's Day. And all that stuff will be part of that. If you can't make it down to the library and you still want to make these fun crafts, you can um, do these with supplies that you have at hand on home also. And we'll show you how to do that in this video. So we're going to go ahead and start with making our paper chain rainbow craft. This is really a fun and easy craft for preschoolers and younger kids to do. Um, it really helps with their eye hand coordination and um, fine motor skills. And all you're going to need for this one is some strips of uh, colored construction paper. These are about um, six to eight inches long and about an inch wide of every color of the rainbow. Um, we have that provided in the craft kit that um, we provide from the library. And we also have um, provided the pots. And if you don't um, have these ability, just trace out like a circle with a lid on top and make two black pots. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is glue your two pots together. But you don't wanna glue on the top here. You don't wanna glue this part. You just wanna glue around the edges here um, to make the two stick together. We have to leave it hollow so we can put our tissue paper for gold on the inside when we're all done. And you can go ahead and glue the edges of the top, but don't glue across the top. And then just put the two pieces together and make sure they're secured tight. Now you notice there's also a strip here in the middle that we've sliced out of our pots. I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's a strip there. Because what we're going to do next is take our purple color and weave that through the strip, just like that. Now, if you know your colors of the rainbow, I learned at Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Um, we're just gonna combine indigo and violet to make purple because they don't really make different construction paper colors like that. When you get your purple woven through, just take a little bit of glue and roll it into a circle and hold it tight. And when it's secure, take your blue and do the same thing. And just keep repeating this all the way up until you hit the red one. And we've already done that, so we're gonna go ahead and run the blue through this one as well. And we have our chain now, all secured. So then, with it all stretched out like that, you wanna take the ribbon that is included in your kit, and you wanna poke a hole in the top of your red, and through the underside, you want to weave two ends of the ribbon up and through. And don't pull it too tight because you'll pull it right on out, but you wanna leave a little loop because we have a brass brad that we've included that you can slide through that hole you just made. And then once you've got it under there, I don't know if you can see that really well or not, you wanna loop that string around the brass brad and then pull it tight so that it gets caught on the brass brad. That's what secures it to the top of your rainbow here. And pull it all the way through so that it's secured, and then you can fold your brass brad flat up against the underside of your rainbow, just like so. And then on the top, you have your string coming through, and then you can just tie this in a knot onto itself like so. And sometimes ribbon can be kind of fussy and difficult to pull through, but you'll get it. And then just take your scissors and trim off any excess that you have. And now you've got a nice little ribbon hook. And we've included two rectangle squares of white construction paper that we want you to free cut out into a cloud shape. And then you wanna separate these and you wanna put a lot of glue between them, like this, so that they stay nice and tight. And then lay your ribbon 
so that just a little bit of it pops up up the top and then press your cloud back on top of it. And kind of seal it so it's even and you've got your ribbon coming through just like that. So now when you hang it up, you've got your rainbow coming out of the cloud and the ribbon on top. And last but not least is your tissue paper gold. We kind of folded it down into like a little fan shape here, kind of pleated it up a little bit, kind of crimple it up to make it kind of pop and be shiny. And now you want to turn your, try to move your little purple rainbow piece out of the way. And you want to kind of slide your finger down into the pot and push your tissue paper inside. And then you can spread it out so that it covers all of the top of the pot. And there you have, and then you can just kind of press it flat. And there you have your tissue paper gold coming out of your pot. See, isn't that cute? And you can hang that in a window and it will shine all for the month of March. And so that's your your um, your pot of gold at the bottom of the rainbow craft that you can make. And then the other thing we want to make is our cute little leprechaun. And with this one, all you're going to need uh, is a sheet of white construction paper. And you're going to need a sheet of green construction paper that you've cut into a shape of a hat. Again, if you can come down to the Herm Memorial Library, we've already done this part for you. And then you're going to need a little strip of black construction paper and a little square of yellow, which as you can see, we've cut together and made it into like a belt shape. And you're going to need your eyes and you're going to need your markers. Um, your markers that you're going to need for this one are going to be red and black. So we have a red marker and we have our black marker here. And of course we're going to need some glue and your pink and orange paint. So the first thing that we're going to do on our leprechaun here is on your white sheet of papers you want to trace like an oval shaped pattern on top with a flat bottom. And you want to do it so that you're just a couple inches from the top of the paper because this is going to be your face. And um, we went ahead and we are going to put your eyes on because that kind of helps you determine where your smile goes. So we're going to go ahead and put your eyes on like that and like that. You can use school glue here if you don't have a glue stick. Those will work just as well. And then I went ahead and I put my smile on. And we can give them um, kind of a little cheeks there, little dimples maybe in his smile. And we're going to give him a nose. Maybe we'll give him a, a little U-shaped nose this time. Like that to make him a little bit different. And um, I went ahead and added my ears last because I wasn't quite sure where my hair was going to end up. But if you want to put ears on him at this point, you can certainly do that. I'm going to wait and do my ears again last because I'm not quite sure again where the hair is going to end up. So in the meantime, before we start painting, we're going to do one more step. We're going to go ahead and glue our um, black belt to the top of our green hat here. And you just rest right on there like so. If you're making this from scratch at home, just take your square yellow um, construction paper and cut a slit here and cut a slit here and then you can weave your green right on through. Okay, and we're gonna let the hat sit off to one side to dry. Cause now it's time to get messy with paint. And what we're going to do is take your orange paint and on a paper plate, pour some paint on it just like that. And then take your fork and you wanna dip your fork in the green, in the orange paint until it's nice and covered. And then you're just gonna do exactly what I just did. You're just gonna start pressing the paint fork down on your painting and give him a nice beard. Do it over and over and over. You can make it as long or as thick or as thin as you want. We went down a couple layers here on ours just to give him some depth. And we can even come up a little bit on his chin here. Give him a little bit more hair up here. Give him some whiskers coming right underneath his, his smile here. 
And maybe we'll do a few more over here. And then we're going to come up and do his hair as well. You can make your leprechaun with as thick a thatch of hair as you like, or maybe you want to make him partly balding. Maybe you want to give him long hair. Maybe you want to give him short hair. Um, but you got to give him a little bit of hair to show underneath that hat of his. And you can make it spiky and standing out. Because um, in a minute here, we're going to put this hat on directly. So on the very top, it doesn't really matter quite so much as far as you want to make it pop. There. Kind of gives him some personality, doesn't it? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to paint a little bit of cheeks on his sides here and you want to take a little bit of water because we're going to dilute the pink paint unless you have really 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 faint pink paint most of us have pretty bright pink paint at home so you want to dilute it because you just want a hint of um, pink there and so we just pour a little bit into the water there we want to get our brush in there mix them around and then we're just going to come on over here and brush just a little bit of faint pink onto his cheeks just a little bit on the other side too. Oops. Got a little bit of hardened paint in there. Just so that it gives it a little bit of color. And we'll let that dry. And when it dries, you'll see that it looks like there's pink on his cheeks. And then we can go ahead and add his ears. And we're gonna put an ear here. And we just do little circles inside to show his little ears. And since we made that one pretty round, we got to make this one round too. There, how cute is that? And then we're going to add the hat on top. Because the paint is still wet, we don't actually have to add a lot of glue here. If you want to put your hat on an angle, you can do that too. You don't have to put it directly on top. If you want it sitting on an angle like that or maybe like that. But I like it on top of his head. So I'm going to put it square right there. Again, because the paint is still wet, the paint as it dries will adhere to the green hat, so we don't have to put glue there. I did put a little bit of glue at the top just to adhere it. And we're going to go ahead and let our little leprechaun here dry. And when he's all dry, he'll be all ready for his mischievous festivities as usual. So I hope you guys enjoyed our crafts today, and I look forward to seeing you guys again next week. Bye-bye!